What's going on guys? My name is Evan and this is the first episode of Basement Card Collectors. And today I copped two mystery boxes from Walgreens, $5 a piece, no idea what's in them. They just look interesting. There's a football one. It's got a one in four chance of containing what they call a hit, which is like just, I guess you call autographs, jersey cards, stuff like that. A baseball one, it's pretty heavy. It's one and eight though. Um, so same deal, same mystery box brand. I have no idea what's in these. Never opened them. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start off with the contents. We're gonna go and start with the football one and then we'll get to the baseball one. So these ones look like they're super glued shut. So I'm just gonna go tough on them. I don't care about. All right, so there it is. All right, so let's go ahead and break the, take the seal off. All right, so looks like in this we have a Sage football pack, which doesn't look very good because it's 22. Pack contains randomly assorted and something. All right, so this doesn't look that good of a pack. And then there's a bunch of loose cards inside, a ton of loose cards, and we're going to Go ahead and blast through these. I don't even know if there's anything good in these. We have, first off, a Randall Cobb. Super random. Here, let me shine the light a little bit more on the cards so you can actually see them. So, Randall Cobb. Such a random card. See, like, this is what I mean. A Fleer 91 Daryl Grant. This is just, like, random bits of bulk from old packs. All right, so these are the Sage cards. So I'm going to guess this pack is just the same exact thing as these. And it's all college players. And I don't know a single one of them. So I'm just going to blow right through with these. So many of them. All right, well. I have a rookie card. A 20 rookie Jeremy Chin. Nothing special. Not at all. Now they're upside down, so it's great. I got a kicker. Um, looks like his name's Rolf. Cannot say his last name, but he is a... What year is this? This is 1987 Tops. Look at the back of this thing. It's like the old, old cards. I, it's so random. Ronnie Harmon, a Bills running back. Same deal, though. 1989. I have no idea if these are worth anything, being honest. And here comes something that it looks a little bit interesting, actually. It's a thicker card. What is this thing? Hold on. It's It's got a thicker border, and it's got, like, a bump on the side. I don't know if you can see the bump, but, like, it's got a weird-looking texture. It is a... Keith McNance, and it's got like a gold border. It is action packed. Redskins player, what year is this? It's got his stats 1991. Interesting. I'm gonna set this off to the side for now because this is kind of kind of random. Another, another just random linebacker, Ricky Jackson. Another older looking card. Yeah, 1990. Crazy. Ooh. This card is another interesting one. Um, Pro line Tim McGee. Wide receiver for the Bengals. 1991. It looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna set it off to the side too. Looks more like a like a narrative. Jesse Hester. Just another just like random bulk from 1900s, it almost seems like. Eric Allen. Nothing special about that one either. All right, this card's upside down. That means something good. Nope, it's just a Jerry Gray. Great. All right. <laughs> Walter Stanley signed with the Washington Red Stick Redskins. Oopsies. All right. Well, I go with this isn't worth anything either. All right. This 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 looks like it has potential, but I'm sure. What in the world? Looks like there's a hair on the back of it. Looks pretty nice. It's it's definitely bulk. You can tell this is bulk. Look, there's like a hair or something. It's like that little black speck. 
I have no idea. That's disgusting, though. And it's bent. It's in terrible condition. It's not even, it doesn't even worth being set over there. And we have a good old running back, Lamar Smith. Yep, everyone knows who he is. And, oh, wow, can you believe it? A coach, Jerry Glanville from the Falcons. What a coach. I know so much about him. He's definitely worth nothing. And Dino Hackett. So, let's go ahead and crack open the pack that we got. Not even going to be upset because this was $5. So, I'm not really surprised that there's nothing good in this. All right, we have McKenzie. Don't know. Don't know. Don't know. And, ooh, look at this card. Interesting. Too bad. Drake London. Let me know when you're good, Drake London, because I will be here for you. All right, well, I guess we can go ahead and say that. I mean, there's some old cards in there. I mean, if you're an old card collector, like, these are just straight old bulk. Being honest, it's old bulk. So, if I had to say there's any two good cards, it's got to be either this one or this one. This one, I don't know if it's worth anything. But it's got the gold borders. It's got, like, an interesting texture, but I'm going to look them up soon. And this card just looks somewhat like it's got some worth. But, but yeah, that's it for the, the football box. So, these are called Football Collector's Edge. So, I don't know if they're actually worth $5. They might be worth less. All right. So, now we're going to crack open the baseball box. It is quite the heavy let's just say that oh, jesus there's so much stuff in here it costs the same by the way five bucks also holy moly oh oh what year is this hold on Diamond Kings, okay. So it looks like I'm not quite sure the year of this. I might save this and open this for a different episode. Um I'm gonna set this off to the side. It looks older to being honest. I might come back and open it, but I found out what all of the freaking goodness gracious. I don't even know anymore. Look at the stack of cards. I don't even know. All right, well. Ah, oh, jeez, I don't. Zach Britton, an old card. Here we go, first old card. A 1962 Jay Moyer. I don't know if any of these are going to be worth anything. I'm going to go with, like, the big names are going to be worth something. Like, these are all flipped upside down now. Like, look at this. We have a Jeff Robinson very old looking cards holy moly holy moly Ooh, a signature card so far the baseball box has been treating us a joel guzman from the tampa bay devil rays so that's like an older style too here's the card again there's a the signature um it is a tops 2006 i'm gonna set that off to the side with the old pack that i think we got too so far the baseball one i might have to go buy more of these all-Star Game 2017, Nick Ahmad. Okay, they're all everywhere. All-Star Games 2017, Paul Goldenschmidt. Tommy Herr. Willie McGee. Ken, I'm, I'm just not going to show you guys most of these because some of these are just bulk. If you notice any big names, just... Oh. If you notice any big names, just let me know in... Comment down below any big names, and I'll go back through them, and I'll price them. But I just pulled a Barry Larkin Diamond Kings from 1990. That could have something with it, so I'm going to set it off to the side. It's a pretty good name. Uh, Kenny Rogers, Don Russ 91. So a lot of these are just, 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 just bulk. I mean, it's another Reds player from Cincinnati area. Randy Myers. So far, just that's a newer card. Okay, so now we're getting what it seems to be ancient players. Like, look at this guy. Fleer. Not quite sure the year of this. It doesn't really say, but I'm going to go with it's older. Jeez, there's just so many cards in here. Masterful Performance. This is good old. I don't know who this is, but um, yeah, check that out. Pretty old. This is some old, old cards. I don't know what is going on with these, but... 
they're all over the place. Um, Jeff Garden. All right, I'm just going to stop showing them. And so I see a big name. Not really going to show them. A lot of these are just consistent bulk. That's probably going to end up in someone else's collection. Still nothing. Still nothing. Mike Smith sounds familiar. I'm going to hold him up just in case. I don't know if he's worth anything, but comment down below if he is. Danny Heap. I like his name. Nothing. Nothing. So, so far, not really big names. It's just a lot of just random. Looks like someone just, like, grabbed a stack of their cards. Doesn't know what's in it and just threw it in there and just... Prayed. Ooh, backwards card. All right. So, these are some weird-looking cards. We got Lloyd Moserby and Bobby Vanilla. They're like black and white. Here, I'll get a better view of them. Hold on, let me set these down. They're like black and white style. I'm not quite sure if they're worth anything, so I'm just gonna set them off to the side right now. I think there's just a bunch of different sets, so I'm not sure if they're worth anything. Still nothing, still nothing, still nothing. And now we're backwards again, okay. Goodness gracious, what year is this from? Can't find it. Cannot find the year on this at all. Some of these just don't put the year, I swear. Wait, hold on. Nope, 1988. Okay, that's actually not that far. I see another Don Ross Diamond Kings, which is good, but that's like, oh. Okay, what is going on here? <laughs> these are all stuck together and all such. Oh. Jim Rice. Willie Wilson. Jack McNall. And Rob Maurer. And then... Some dude I don't even know. Just no wrestling name, but this dude's name is Goose. I don't know anything about this dude named Goose, but let me know if you know anything about Goose. All right. I thought this video was going to be very short, but it's actually starting to get pretty long. As we come upon the Diamond Kings, which I'll start showing, because Diamond Kings is pretty popular. We have Kirk Gibson. Robin Yount. Yount, sorry. An upside-down card. Okay, so now we're getting back to, like, a different set. I'm going to guess it's in. Oh, yeah, it's just a set. Tim Raines. Dude looks huge in that. No one you'd know. Probably not. That's an old card. That's an old card. That's an old card. Old card. Old card. Old card. Literally, it's just straight bulk. I don't even know what else to say besides, like, it's just... I haven't seen any people that are, like, the same. Like, oof. Reggie Smith, though. It's an old-looking card. Oh, my goodness. How old is this? This is good old. Oh, it's in terrible condition, though. I don't know if you can see that, but the top is in awful condition. These are just straight bulk, bro. It's only 19... Oh, this is 1981. Oh, my goodness. Star Fleer. Apparently, you can peel them. I don't even know what that means. I don't know what that means. I'll peel one of them. There's a couple of them. Kirk Bolison. I don't want to pull peel like the wrong guy, you know? Okay, these ones are stuck together again. Um, Tim Raines. I'm sure no one knows who he is. Ooh, Caesar. I love a good, self, a good old Caesar salad. Ain't gonna cap. Um... Another one, Chris Chambliss. Sorry, I they're falling apart. And a bunch of other guys that no one knows. So, honestly, I am quite, I don't know, I'm quite confused. Um, so, that's a lot of bulk, a, a lot. So, this is the football stack. And now I found out why the baseball one weighs about a pound and a half. Look at the size of it. And just, just keep in mind, this pack, let's see, it has three puzzle piece cards and 15 picture cards. Don Russ, I think it might be 91 maybe. I'm not going to try and break the seal or anything. 1988 Diamond Kings. So, I'm probably going to crack this open with my other 
friend that helps run this channel, his name's Blake. We'll probably open that card with him. Just open that pack with him just because he's more sports worthy than me. But that's a, that's a great, that's probably one of the, yeah, that's a, that's a randomly inserted hit right there. That's a one out of an eight chance. So they do have stuff in them. If you have good luck, they do have stuff in them. Only noticeable cards, though, is a Barry Larkin and a signed Joel Guzman. So I am going to go ahead and look up the prices of these, and I will be right back. And we are back. And the Barry Larkin $3 card, I mean, it's not bad. I mean, it's like over half of the value. And both of these were like a dollar a piece. So the football ones weren't worth much unless I found the wrong card. And Joella was also, since he was a signature, about two dollars or so. But for the moment of truth, we're gonna crack open. We're gonna crack open the 1988 pack. So let's so it has 15 cards and three puzzle pieces. Here's a good look at the card for the pack. All right, so I don't really know what's big in these in this pack, but I mean, it's a 1988 pack, so I mean, it's kind of old. It's kind of, I haven't opened one of these ever. I've never opened one of these in my life. All right, so the first thing is going to be a Stam Musel puzzle card. The issue with puzzle cards is you can't really, like, collect them unless you have a lot of packs because it's hard to get all the puzzle pieces, if that makes sense. And I think I got scammed because it said three puzzle pieces, but I got one. Oh. Or is it just... Oh, wait, never mind. I, I lied. I lied. I lied. First card is a Joe Uribe. Jeff Robinson. Dave Lapeer. Terry McGiff. McGriff, sorry. Wally Ritchie. Rocky Childress. Sorry if you can't see them. John Tudor. Dave Lapointe. <sighs> kind of getting nervous. Daryl Miller. I don't know what's worth in this. So. Mike Loind. Gary Thurman. That's a rated rookie. That's got to go for something. I'm going to set that off to the side. That's the first rookie card. Dennis Martinez. Jose Rijo. A Jerry Don Gleaton. And finally, a Mike Deverix. I have no idea if that was good or not, being honest. I mean, but I mean, that was, that's pretty nice. For a mystery pack, I'll take it. I will gladly take that and the puzzle piece if you guys want to see it again. But here's our very rookie, Gary Thurman. So I'm going to go ahead and going to guess he's probably around a couple dollars. Nothing too special, but yeah, but that's going to wrap it up for the video. Um, So I think around Friday, there will be a video posted of Pokemon opening, a Pokemon opening, because it's more of a mixture channel of all cards. So we have some Pokemon cards we're going to open up and... Hopefully get some good stuff and maybe I'll cop a couple more of these mystery boxes from Walgreens and I guess I will see you guys then. Thank you. Make sure to like and subscribe. Um, comment down below ideas for other videos, future videos, stuff like that. Um, also turn on notifications. We're going to try and post at least once a week because it's kind of tough with school and other stuff like that. But otherwise, we're going to try and do as much as we can for you guys. So once we get more and more subscribers, we'll start doing giveaways. I really like these baseball boxes, so I'm going to try and keep buying these. But I, they were there was only like two left on the shelf whenever I got this one, so you never know. But yeah, hope you guys enjoy the video, and uh, peace out.